Alrighty, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. This is episode 11. This is a very special episode because just today we got over a thousand views. That is absolutely amazing. So this episode, step one, we are going to go ahead and sell this piece of junk that some people want to call a harvester. One that does not want... One that does not want to uh, let me do other stuff while the worker's harvesting. So we are going to go ahead and replace that. I installed some more mods. I installed some more older, you know, affordable-ish tractors. So or combine harvesters. So that'll come in handy this episode. Um, before we go ahead and look at the mods and buy ourselves a new harvester going to go ahead and start plowing the fields. I think we're going to go ahead and keep it at 15. Alright, we're not going to have patches. We're not. I'm going to make that my duty. Not that kind of duty, as Wreck-It Ralph once said. Alright, here, hold on. Now let's make sure that plant growth is at the correct speed, normal, 15, no missions. All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's hire a worker. All right, there you go. That looks pretty good. All right. I think we're gonna go ahead and hook up our truck to the trailer, load up our combine, and take it down to the, to the farm shop. Go ahead and sell it. And there are no great demands at the current moment. Just to prove it. Come on. Hook up. Whoops, no. Not backwards. There. Oh, oh. Oh. We're going to lower it. So. Great demands. Yep, no great demands. Weather is always the same, although it might become cloudy, and I think today is a cloudy day. Let's check the weather. Nope, sunny, partly cloudy Friday. Sunny, sunny, partly cloudy Friday, 30 days from now. So yeah, that's that. Nothing really new besides the mods that we're about to go check out. Because this thing is pathetic, and I don't know why anyone in the world would ever want to buy a harvester like this. There we go, that looks pretty good to me. Go ahead and check out the back. Alright, it fits. So let's go to the farm shop. Alright, close the back, secure the load. Secure the load. Alright, load is secure. Let's head off to the farm shop. The reason why I take this is because it's much faster. Ooh, 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 man. I love the physics. Come on, there we go. Alright, so. Oh, I'll show you the last one to get there. One to the left, one to the right. I was going to However, this trailer does make it kind of hard to turn without like tipping the load. So we might go and try out the other one. Oh, car, please be able to fit. Please be able to fit. Oh, wow, that was close. Lucia. That's close call. This is not exactly the load you want to be doing this on. Nor do I suggest you do this at all. So don't do this at home. <coughs> Alright, at the farm shop, not too far of a drive. I will go ahead and see if I can turn this thing around. And then I will open the back flap. There we go. X, release the load. Here, let's go ahead and back this guy out. Slowly but 
make sure he does it. Make sure we don't rip anything off or anything. Alright. Let's back it into position. I am extremely ready to get rid of this harvester. This harvester deserves to be ridden of. Sell for 24. Absolutely, that would make my year. Sell for 27. Even better. Cool, so we have $71,000 to buy a new harvester. As far as mods go, we got... Here we are, tractors. We got this guy's a new one. The Class Exeron 5000 Track BC. It actually has the power and maintenance thing like normal, although I can't read the description. Uh, we got the Auto Quad V4. This thing has an amazing sound to it. Uh, let's see what else is new. This is new. We got the John Deere Corn Header. This looks like an actual harvester, but it's not. This is the um, other type of header. This is a header, I do believe. This is the actual combine. So 139,000, can't really afford that one. That one's not new. The New Holland TS is new, and so is this tractor. All right, as for front loaders, the same. Harvesters, we got the class Dominator 85, 25.9. Comes with that, or that. We can get, we can attach either one, they're both class. Um, let's see what else did I get. We got these terrible pieces, although these ones might not be too bad, but I know that guy, that guy is. We got the Class Mega 218, that guy's a behemoth, and so is this price tag. We got this guy, the E517, that's an expensive guy, he looks terrible, but trust me, he's not. He can take in quite a bit, and he can hold quite a bit. We got this $45,000 one, E514. It's header, also looks like junk. However, then these are attachments for the E514, which is that guy. However, what it can do is hold a ton of grain in its belly. So that's all that's new there. Tippers, got this Brett Avalanche, the John Deere. Tipper, Cultivator is the same. Bailing, I got this baler. Been trying to figure it out. But I don't know how to open up the back flap, so I'm going to still have to do more research on that. Miscellaneous. We got the New Holland TF78. Extra plus. And then it's header. Very expensive. Corn header. Doesn't come with a picture. So that is it. And then, yeah, this, this is the same. The John Deere header. So, as far as Harvester goes, I think our best bet is this Class Dominator 85 and or the Force, not that one, Force, or Force Rit E514. It is more expensive, however, it can hold more grain, but it moves incredibly slow. Like, whenever you want to turn around, it, it moves quite slow because it's quite old. But I still think that's our best bet. Then again, I mean, it doesn't. It's not a class 85 like this guy who can hold other classes' uh, farming uh, headers. That's the word. Holy cow, that's funny. The header is worth more than the combine. That's hilarious. And the Class Dominator 85, you guys might have seen it in Farming Simulator 2011, the exact same one. So, I think we're going to go for this Class Dominator 85. Mm -hmm. And then we will buy the Class V6XO to go with it. No, let's see if we can get the... Let's see if we can get this... Um, the V900 to go with it. Here, I'll tell you what. I will be right back, and as soon as I get back, I will have the answers on whether or not those two headers can be, or the header and that combine can be combined, so don't move. Alrighty, welcome back. As it turns out, it can be connected together. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's see, 38.3 and 25.9, that's about, so 40 plus 40, 50, 65, 7. 
Yep, we can do it. So let's go ahead and buy that. And then let's go ahead and buy that header. Alright, not much money left, but enough. Alright, so there's our combine, there's our header. Going to move this guy out of the way. I will still leave him here though so that we can or allow our combines to be driven up on here. But I, they just need to connect first. Let's go ahead and do that. Just like in Farming Simulator 2011. Although in 2011 you start out with this guy. <laughs> so we've made an upgrade to the start of Farming Simulator 2011's combine. Although this is the better one, I guess, in its defense. But, yeah. We definitely have a better header. We have a better comb or a better holding capacity than our last combine, so it's still an upgrade. Have a massively better header. And the fact is, is that this is the direct, because it, this is like the direct mod from Farming Simulator 2011, so that I know that I can tab between different vehicles while farming slash harvesting. Let's go ahead and drive that forward. There, looks good. And now wish us luck as we drive this up to our farm on that very... Oh, oh, wait, wait, yep, let's secure load. Secure load, there we go, alright, now we're good. I saw it kind of move there, made me scared. Alright, there we go. So let's go and head back to the farm with our new, new combine that should, you know, stay well, let's wait for this guy to cross the street, the sidewalk, the road, whatever it is that you want to call it. Driveway, maybe, I don't know. Alright, let's go. Turn. Oh, took the sidewalk a little. Alright. Probably let that car go first. Only because I don't want to rear-end them or have them stop in front of me with this massive blow. Oh! Oh, jeez. Don't speed up too quickly. Just got to keep it. A constant, steady, slow speed. No! Not a car. Not a car. Please, no, not a car. Oh, you can fit under it. Wow. Talk about luck, skill, and butter. Nice. Yeah, sure, you can go ahead and turn in front of me, or hit me, whatever it is works for you, red car. Because my opinion obviously did not matter in that saying. So, alright, got a new combine, go ahead and drop it off here, car. Welcome to the family. Jarrell and Joseph must be extremely excited. Speaking of Jarrell and Joseph, they are... Or Jarrell right now is working on the field. I suppose I really should mention that more often, not just the workers. Those are some small cars to be to be able to fit under there. Not to mention this harvester is faster than the other ones, so... At least that turning. Not faster than all of them, but faster than the other one that I suggested. So... I'll go ahead and back this into position. We really don't need our plow, although I did receive a comment about plowing the two fields that we own right now together. That is not a bad idea, although I think it looks weird with, you know, like, it looks like a dirt gravel road is supposed to be there. I think that looks kind of weird. I think go ahead and leave that down. Let's go see how Jarrell is doing on the field. Ooh, what's wrong? Why, are, why aren't you working? Whoa. No, no. Uh, Z, is it? V. No, V. G. There, alright, alright. Uh, ridge marker Z. H. There you go. Now that you got the ridge marker on the right side. G. Go ahead and turn you back on. Why exactly you stopped, I don't know. But for some reason, you're now growing in patches again. So, that's good to see. Hooray. Nothing like drilling in patches. And nothing like being able to not see out of the tractor. I feel bad for Drill. But you know, it looks like he can do his job pretty well as is. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and let him be. Whoosh. Nice. 
guys. Uh, I'm coming after you. I'm gonna be jumped. Alright, cool. That's, that's enough of that. Lately, it seems like we do not have a use for this trailer because we've just been using that truck for anything and everything, really. Although, last time I said we only need one trailer, we all know what happened. The exact situation that I thought would not pop up, we needed both trailers, so... I think I'm gonna keep it. Although, we don't need this tractor. Because we have the one tractor plowing and fertilizing. We got the truck who collects the sea. We got the combine. I suppose if I wanted to go anywhere, I'd need a tractor, but I really don't. Although I might, though, because, you know, the field, and yeah. We might, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. We'll just keep everything here. So we started plowing our fields again with canola. Speaking of canola, let's check out prices. Freight yard, it looks like, is offering the most. Just kidding, the inn is with 23. We've been selling ours at a pretty decent steady rate at 2400 Canola, we got 11,645 storage. Not too shabby. We still have the most potato storage. Potato harvesting is something that I want to get to sooner before later, although it costs a ton to get into. I was doing a pretty good job. I might turn off this. Yeah, fertilizer doesn't need to be on anymore. Everything's fertilized. There we are. Look at that. Saving money. He's almost done. Let's go ahead and get the combine in position. What a beauty. 900 series, wow. The header, you can obviously tell how much newer the header is. Ah, oh, yeah, here's the inside of the cab. Don't think I showed you this before. Not too bad. Auction for field number 18. Let's check out where that is. Ooh, I gotta go check that thing out. Alright, let's go. That's pretty close, and that would be a field to auction at. Although, let's see what the current bid is. We might need to take out a loan. But if we can get it for cheaper than what it's worth, then you know, more power to us. Here's field 17, probably we'll get that some before later as soon as we start upgrading. And there are the, the gold circle pile piece marble thing. That is wrong, that's on auction. So let's see how much it's worth. R. Normal value 57, current bid 28.5. Yeah, let's go ahead and take out a loan. Of course we have to drive all the way down there to do that. So let's do that. After I check on Jarrell and how his sewing is coming along. Which I would suspect is done, yes, just like I thought. So let's go ahead and set them up on the other field. I suppose if we're both planting them with canola, it would be quite nice to plow them together, so I might do that after. Yeah, I, in fact, I probably will do that. Whoop, gotta start back a little. I will do that before next episode. Ah, I, I'll actually show you guys how exactly that works. So, next episode, I'm pretty sure it'll just be me plowing that. It'll be a little special for you guys. Alright, cool. Now that that's going, let's head to the farm shop. Not the thrift shop. I can see how you got confused there. And then I think as soon as we check that out, I, we will come back with the field all ready to harvest. So, episode 12, we will harvest the field. Episode 13, we will have a little special on how to plow two fields together to make one. In fact, I don't even think it will count as an episode. I think it will just be a special. Farming Simulator 2013 special. How to plow fields together. Pretty sure what I'll call it. And then episode 13, after that, will be us selling it again, and probably buying a new field, and or selling 
selling crops or buying new equipment. There's just way too many things that we could be doing. So I said the current bid was about twenty-eight thousand. So I think if we get a good thirty to fifty thousand, we'll be all right. I'm pretty sure I paid off some of the loans, so we don't have that much. Only twenty-five, I think. Yeah, twenty-five. So let's go ahead and borrow. 10, 15, 20, 20, 35, 40. All right, we have 40,000, so let's go ahead and bid on that field. Then, as soon as we bid on that field, I think I'll cut the episode there. Joseph and Drell really haven't been working simultaneously, simultaneously lately. Although I'm glad this episode's in daytime, because it seems like the last couple have been at night in the game. Alright, and alright, let's go make a bid on that field. And then it should notify us if someone bids higher so we don't have to check on it every three seconds. So that's good. Although, it, it is a little bit out of the way, but I'd rather pay less than what it's worth now, so that in the future, we can be saving that much more money. So, and if for some reason we don't get it, then you know I'll just pay the loan back off. That was almost perfect. Alright, so current bid 28, let's bid 29.5. Currently the highest bidder. Till 22, so we have 11 hours till that happens. So tune in next episode while we start to harvest that field and I will let you know if we become the highest bidder or not or if we win the field or not and if for some reason the field will be ready to harvest before that session or the auction is done then you guys will see us take ownership what? Oh, just, I was just driving back and someone decided to bid higher than me how amazing Let's go ahead and drive all the way back. Darn it, field 18. We, we did get our thousand dollars back, it looked like. We now have 47, or 40 comma 7 thousand dollars. You know, all but 6,000 of that is loan. Or right, let's purchase, bid another thousand. Alright, I will go ahead and leave this here. We'll go ahead and set up the combine in preparation for next episode. And then I'll leave you there. Let's go ahead and set this up. Ooh, wide. Alright, this thing should be able to cut through these wheels like nothing else. Except, you know, maybe something better. Which we can't afford, so just we'll have to do. There we go. Alright, so currently we're the highest bidder. Just got a new combine. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see on our map, 18 is flashing green, highest bidder. That'll be nice to own field 18. So tune in next ep episode to start harvesting field 16 and 15 and see if we won the auction at field 18.